Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 255. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 453 to 457. Hey, in this trick here, we have some grant uh, candidates, some scores, their average, a score for relevance, and money requested. Our goal is we only want to consider candidates that have a relevant score greater than 12. The average score has to be greater than 5. Both of those things have to be true. And when we extract from this data set uh, over here the candidates, the cumulative total of whatever they're asking for has to be less than or equal to 200,000. So that's our cap. Th those are our funds. We cannot uh, fund any grant proposals uh, above this amount. So we're going to do this in a couple steps. I'm going to add a, a column with an AND function that will say true when both of these criteria are met. Then we'll add a cumulative total. Then I'm going to, to make this more dynamic, before I do advanced filter, I'm going to turn on the macro recorder. And the way that's going to work is I'm definitely going to sort the eligible column to get all the trues up to the top. That's a way of having two criteria with numbers. You can't sort and sort. You, you can't actually sort two columns, but you could put a true false here with an and, get a true in this column, and then sort it. And it brings all those records up to the top. Our cumulative uh, formula will automatically update and uh, we'll extract the records with advanced filter. All right. Eligible, we'll say equals and, and there's two criteria. We have to say whatever the average score, relative cell reference, that has to be greater than or equal to this 5 right here, and that needs to be locked, so I'll hit the F4 key twice. That is a logical formula right there. Comes out true or false, but I type a comma. Here's the second logical test. Relevance has to be greater than or equal to this score right here, and I'll hit my F4. That also is a second separate logical test. Only when logical 2 comes out true and logical 1 comes out true does the AND deliver a true to the cell. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. So for example, um, we have a 12. Do we have any 12s? There's a, a score that, uh, a relevant score that's greater than 12, but because the score is so low, it delivers a false there. All right, our cumulative total, we're going to need a cumulative total, equals SUM. And the trick to this is we're going to um, click in this cell right here, Shift, colon, close parentheses. And I'm going to lock one of these. I like that one, an F4, F4. Lock one of them, but not the other one. That creates a expandable range. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. If you double click right here, you can see that's an expandable range. Expandable range. Now, before we turn on the, um, we want to use Advanced Filter. That way we can have a macro and we'll assign a keyboard shortcut, and then we'll just go boop every time we want to extract the new records when we uh, save change our criteria or change the input data. Um, here's our criteria up here. We already use that, but here, here will be our criteria for our advanced filter. So I already put that there. This column and these have to be exactly spelled the same with no differences in spaces or anything as these. The criteria will be true for this column and greater than or equal to 200,000. Now the, the trick is, is we're going to have to sort first thing we do in the macro. Not only that, but if we're going to continually extract, guess what? I want to get rid of the record. So another thing we're going to do in the middle of the macro is to highlight a bunch of columns and delete them. Right? That way it'll, when we've previously run the advanced filter, it'll delete those. Now, we're, gonna, we're about to start advanced filter, but I want to, actually we're going to do sorting first. Actually, it doesn't matter where our cursor goes because our data set's going to be in the same place. So when we click in this column right here, it'll be an absolute cell reference. Now we get to turn on the macro. Now, I'm going to click on the macro recorder button right here in 2007. In earlier versions, you go to Tools, Menu, and then Macros. I'm going to click here. I'm going to give it a name. Extract grantee or something like that. I'm going to give it a keyboard shortcut. Notice it says Control. I'm going to hold Shift and E. Uh, I'd give it a description if I wasn't shooting a video. I'm going to click OK now. Once we click OK, this is a macro. It will 
record the code behind the scenes for every every action we take. That's why macro recorders are great for repetitive actions. We want this keyboard shortcut to execute the code that this macro recorder recorded uh, for this repetitive task. Now, once I click OK, it's recording everything. Remember, the, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, sort the column, uh, sort this column, delete all the rows, uh, run advanced filter, and then stop the macro. So I'm going to click OK. Uh, I'm going to have to use Control Shift um, Extract uh, Grantees. I'm going to use Control Shift G, and then click OK. It's that message said I'd already assigned that keyboard to. Uh, a, whoop. I already have that here. You guys won't get that message. I'm going to say yes, please uh, replace it. All right, now the first thing is I'm going to click here. And this is recording in absolute mode. There it is, that button right there is not selected. In earlier versions, it's a floating toolbar. So when I click in this cell right here, we've just hard coded cl uh, click in H7. I'm going to right click sort. In earlier versions, you have to use the button on the uh, toolbar. Z to A because we want the trues to come to the top. All right, so I did that. Next thing is I want to highlight from K way far out, farther than I'd ever have to worry about. That's So I delete earlier data extracts. Right click the column, delete. Now I'm going to very carefully click in one cell in the data set. I've done my first two things. There's my criteria, so the third thing to do is I'm going to do advanced filter. One cell only selected data. Advanced filter, copy to another location, yes. I got the list range, yes. Criteria, there it is. Field names and criteria. Copy to, I'm going to click right there. I'm going to click OK. OK, now I'm going to stop, or I could uh, yeah, click right here, and then stop. Boop. OK, so there it is. Uh, and it looks like it worked. I think 200,000 was. Uh, the maximum amount. Okay, so I'm going to change my criteria. I'm going to say 300,000. Just that changed right there. It should pull out one extra uh, criteria. But guess what? I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this to 10. Right? That changed a bunch of trues down here. It didn't get any down here. Let's. Uh, let's say uh, five just to see what happens we want to get some truth so all falses um, let's try um, our ten and I'm gonna say a score of two so now we get some trues over here and trues over here now when we run the macro we absolutely uh, Remember, we sorted, so that, and that's an important part, because there's a relevant score of 13 there. So that should uh, get uh, pulled up quite a bit. All right. Um, remember last time when we started the macro, we uh, our cursor was outside here, and then we clicked in the table. So it doesn't actually matter where our cursor started. All right, you ready? Control Shift G. I think that's what I did, and sure enough, it went. It sorted it, so you can see all the trues are on top. It took our new criteria, much, and it deleted the columns too, and it extracted all of the candidates that meet the criteria, and it's under our cap of 300,000. So that's a little bit about advanced filter and running a macro. We'll see you next trick.